It began as a peaceful protest and ended in a massacre. Earlier this month, 25 Christians were killed in Egypt by members of the Egyptian military police. The group was protesting a church attack. So next weekend, the St. Mary and St. John Coptic Orthodox Church in Pleasanton will host a Come in Unity carnival dedicated to the families of those killed in the attacks and to raise awareness of the unrest that is happening there. John Nakla is here to tell us about this event. And this, this really does hit close to home. I mean, most of us just see the images of violence on television, but it is close to home for you. Definitely. Definitely. My mom was actually in Egypt at the time of the revolution, so uh, gives an opportunity to put simple freedoms in perspective. And some of those simple freedoms are really the freedom to gather. And this unity festival that you're planning at your church in Pleasanton, what, what is the, the point of getting people together? Well, initially the idea was uh, it's an opportunity for the local Coptic Christians to give something back to the community here uh, in Pleasanton and the Tri-Valley region. Um, but in light of recent uh, events in Egypt, it took on a whole new meeting, and uh, we've dedicated the the carnival to the victims of the attacks that you mentioned, um, and the, the funds and the proceeds that come from it will be going towards supporting the families and uh, supporting any efforts that will raise awareness um, regarding the Christians in Egypt and the uh, and the attacks that are going on and kind of just the chaotic aftermath that goes along with uh, with the revolution. So what are some of the things that you are going to be doing at the festival? I mean sometimes you say festival and we expect you know just fun and, and lightheartedness but will it be will there be any seriousness to it in, in terms of you know educating people about what's happening? Definitely at the uh, at the carnival of course there'll be games for all ages uh, and great Middle, Middle Eastern Mediterranean cuisine and prizes but uh, again with, with what's going on in Egypt there's definitely going to be a uh, another aspect to it and uh, an educational opportunity an opportunity to make people aware of uh, what's going on there and um, of uh, what we can do to help okay and um, about 25 percent of the people who are working in this carnival are are trying to get asylum asylum yeah because they don't want to have to go back to to what your mom experienced in Egypt Oh, definitely, and, and what they've been through, I mean, uh, we're lucky, my, we've been here for years now, um, or my parents have, uh, but, but for them, a lot of these families that are participating now and have recently come to, to join us here in our church are people that had plans on spending their whole lives in Egypt and then kind of saw those plans ripped away from them uh, in a matter of weeks, uh, it's uh, with just the complete instability and... Um, it's hard to plan for a future like that. So they right. picked up and came, and they've been part of you know most the most active people in the process. Okay. So again, the uh, festival is happening at your church in Pleasanton, and if you want more information, here it is. It's uh, Saturday the 29th and Sunday the 30th in Pleasanton. It's on Mirador Drive. So thank you so much for coming in and sharing your story with us. We appreciate having you. Thanks here. for having me. All right, and let's see what kind of weather you'll have for the festival. Here's Chris.